This is how a typical day begins for Captain Luling. It starts with a pre-flight inspection, checking the engines, flaps, and every key system. As the pilot of China's domestically made aircraft, the C919, he's once again preparing for takeoff. The project to develop China's domestically made aircraft, the C919, was approved in 2007, and a decade later, it completed its maiden flight at Shanghai Pudong International Airport. The aircraft was granted a type certificate by China's Civil Aviation Administration in September 2022, and the jetliner welcomed its first passengers in May the following year. And one year later, in August 2024, Air China and China Southern Airlines received their first C919 aircraft, marking a pivotal moment as the aircraft enters the new phase of multi-operator deployment. Data released by the Chinese government showed that more than 300,000 people from over 1,000 enterprises, universities and institutions in 20 provinces have participated in the development of the C919, achieving many historic breakthroughs, and Captain Luling is among them. I feel quite different for the first time to pilot the C919 because the aircraft has adopted many new technologies, such as new flight control system and fly-by-wire system. It can provide more intuitive feedback to our pilots, making it easier for us to operate the aircraft. Three of China's major airlines are currently operating the C919, with the flying routes linking dozens of major Chinese cities, including Beijing, Shanghai and Guangzhou. By November this year, the aircraft had carried out more than 2 million passenger trips, reaching over 40,000 safe operating hours. Since the C919 made its maiden flight in China's central Hunan province, as of November the 30th, it has completed 952 flights, carrying more than 117,000 passengers. Recommendations for China's 15th five-year plan outline a series of development strategies for the aviation and aerospace industries, including technological breakthroughs, industrial upgrading and international cooperation, and point out the way for future trends. The aircraft manufacturer of the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMEC, has ambitions that extend much further. Currently, the C919 has received 1,200 orders globally, and it once again wowed audiences at the 2025 Dubai Air Show following its international debut at the Singapore Air Show last year. Comet aircraft is a very interesting aeroplane, and in my opinion, it is very strong proposition um, to reset the marketplace, which is predominantly um, driven by two aircraft manufacturers. And with COMEC coming into play, it is very interesting indeed. I think it's the same with any new technology and any new entrant into a market. It's just proving the quality, proving that the relationship between cost, delivery, aftermarket care, the entire ecosystem of the technology of the aircraft. So why has China set its sights on manufacturing large passenger jets? A report released by COMEC shows that by 2043, China's civil aviation fleet will reach over 10,000 aircraft, accounting for 20.6% of the global passenger aircraft fleet. And China expects to become the world's largest single air transport market. Many believe the development of the C919 has made a huge progress during China's 14th five-year plan. From its first commercial flight to serving three Chinese major airlines and clocking millions of passenger trips. Its arrival marks not only a milestone in China's civil aviation sector, but also a huge leap forward for China's manufacturing industry. Yu Yang, CGTN, Changsha, Hunan Province.